हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand Haar transformation. Haar transformation is used for multi-resolution analysis of a digital image. So, it is an another technique that is used for multi-resolution analysis of digital images. Haar transformation uses simplest orthonormal wavelets. It is separable and symmetric. and it can be represented in the form of a matrix so the haar transformation can be represented in the form of a matrix so we can represent haar transformation as t is equal to hf h here f is n cross n image matrix h is n cross n transformation matrix and t is resulting n cross n matrix Here, the transformation matrix contains the Haar basic function H K of Z. These functions are defined over Z belongs to zero comma one for K ranging from zero one two up to n minus one. Here, n will be equal to two to the power of n. Now, let us see the procedure to find the Haar transformation. First, we need to find the order n. by taking n is equal to log n then we need to find the value of p and q here p ranges from 0 to n minus 1 if p is equal to 0 then q will be equal to 0 or 1 and if p is not equal to 0 then q will range between 1 to z to the power of p then we need to find the value of k by taking the equation k is equal to z to the power of p plus q minus 1 and z will be equal to 0 by z 1 by z 2 by z and so on up to n minus 1 by z if k is equal to 0 then h not of 0 will be equal to h 0 0 of z that will be equal to 1 by square root of n here z belongs to 0 comma 1 if k is not equal to 0 then h k of z will be equal to h p q of z that will be equal to 1 by root n of 2 to the power of p by 2 if z ranges between q minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of p and q minus 1 by 2 divided by 2 to the power of p so it will be minus 2 to the power of p by 2 If z ranges between q minus one divided by two to the power of p and q divided by two to the power of p, and it will be equal to zero if z belongs to zero comma one. So for all these values, one by root n will be multiplied. Now, for example, if we take n is equal to two, we can find n is equal to log n that is equal to log two. We'll get the value of n is equal to one. For p is equal to zero, we'll get q will be equal to zero or one. So we can find the value of k by using the equation z to the power of p plus q minus one. When p is equal to zero and q is equal to zero, if we substitute this value in this equation, we'll get k is equal to zero. When p is equal to zero and q is equal to one. If we substitute those values in this equation, we'll get k is equal to one. So here we have found two values of k since n is equal to two. If n is equal to four, then we need to find four values of k. Here this table shows the different values of k for various combinations of p and q. If p is equal to zero and q is equal to zero, k value will be equal to zero. If p is equal to zero and q is equal to one, k will be equal to one. If p is equal to one and q is equal to one, k value will be equal to two. If p is equal to one and q is equal to two, then k value will be equal to three. Likewise, we can find different values of k. Now we can write Haar matrix for k is equal to zero and k is equal to one and z is equal to zero by two and z is equal to one by two. So we can write the terms as h not of zero by two, h not of one by two, h one of zero by two, h one of one by two. So these terms is written based on the value of k and z. Now we need to find the values of these terms. 
h0 of 0 by 2 will be having the same value as h0 of 1 by 2 that is equal to 1 by root n that is equal to 1 by root 2. So h0 of 0 by 2 will be equal to 1 by root 2 and h0 of 1 by 2 will also be equal to 1 by root 2. h1 of 0 by 2 will be equal to 2 to the power of p by 2 divided by square root of n that is equal to 2 to the power of 0 by 2 divided by root 2. So here the value of p as well as n is substituted. So we will get 1 by root 2. h1 of 1 by 2 will also be equal to minus 2 to the power of p by 2 divided by square root of n. Here if we substitute the value of n and p, we will get minus 2 to the power of 0 by 2 divided by root 2 that is equal to 1 by root 2. Therefore, we can write the Haar matrix as 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 by substituting the value of h0 and h1. If we take 1 by root 2 as common, we will get h2 will be equal to 1 by root 2 into 1, 1, 1 minus 1. So, this is the Haar matrix for n is equal to 2. For n is equal to 4, if we do the same analysis, or if we do the same calculations, we will get this matrix. So, this matrix I have directly written. So, if you do the calculations as we have done, we will get the matrix for n is equal to 4. This is about hard transformation. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.